He made it. <sighs> Will Jack, you call that roller coaster ride a landing? I've seen pianos land more softly. Are we going to be able to lift off after that? Hey, how about some respect for your elders? It was just a little slip of the hand. Besides, the shuttle is fine. We can lift off again any time. Wheeljack and Jazz. They're both Transformers, veteran Autobots, and warriors for justice. They've come to this planet to look for fellow Autobots who disappeared here. I can't believe I slipped up like that. Maybe I'm getting old. No, I felt something when we entered this planet's atmosphere. Something strange, but I'm not feeling anything now. Anyway, where are those guys? They came here to investigate the mysterious thing that landed here, right? The mysterious flying object is an unidentified body that suddenly appeared along with a space-time warp signature in this region of space several days ago. Optimus Prime ordered an investigation and dispatched a team of Autobots, including several Headmasters, to the planet. 
but the team disappeared and all contact was lost. Concerned by the incident, Optimus Prime decided to visit the planet and head a search mission himself. My sensors are detecting a nasty presence. There's something out there, you two. Commander Prime! Commander! Meet Optimus Prime, a transformer with an indomitable will who loves nothing more than freedom and justice. This is my first time on this planet, but I can feel something that I haven't felt anywhere else. A mysterious UFO, the disappearance of the investigation team, and Wheeljack's rare loss of control over the ship. Perhaps none of these are coincidence. Why don't we contact the United Government of the Paradia system? They may have some new information. Good idea. We've got to find our teammates and figure out the truth behind all of this. Huh? We're picking up a transmission? No mistake about it. It's an SOS signal. Looks like there's danger out there. And the signal source is close. Even when no one's on board, this shuttle has basic defensive capabilities. We don't have to worry about leaving it. Let's check the signal out together. Right. Let's go. must be where the message originated. Optimus Prime left the shuttle and approached the location of the SOS message signal. Suddenly, a strange voice echoed through the air. Lord Megatron, the operation to lure Optimus Prime was a success. Leaving to rejoin you now. Commander, look! What the? Let me handle this. Take this. Transform. Quite a rough greeting. You are Soundwave. Have the Decepticons made it this far already? Listen to me, Optimus Prime. <laughs> you fell into our trap. All too easily, Optimus Prime! That voice! It must be... Megatron! <laughs> My voice may be coming through a transmitter, but you've been hearing it for millions of years! I suppose even your tired old ears wouldn't mislead you. That's right! It's me! Optimus Prime! Yes, it's Megatron, infamous commander of the evil Decepticon army who plots to control the entire universe. from Soundwave. Are you really the commander here? Is this some kind of joke? The Autobots must be full of the precious power of Energon. It's far too good for the likes of you idiots. The Energon in your shuttle is now ours. What? I get it now. 
You were planning to steal it as soon as you lured us away from the shuttle. Stop it, Megatron! <laughs> stop it! If you really want to stop me, come and get me, Optimus Prime! But I suspect my fusion cannon will scrap your little shuttle long before I hear the sound of your tires. You heard him. He'll be here soon. All of you, make sure to give him a full welcome. Hey, Megatron! Completed. Returning to base. Oh, uh, wait! Stop, Jazz! We don't have time to deal with Soundwave. Our shuttle is under attack. We've got to do something. This isn't good. The shuttle won't last long against the Great Emperor of Destruction. If only I'd stayed behind. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Wheeljack. Anyway, we've got to hurry through. I don't think they'll let us get through without a fight. Let's get into formation and get ready for them. I guess you're right. Okay, let's do it. Our shuttle has been targeted by the Decepticons. We must hurry back. Autobots, roll out! What is this? There's some sort of invisible wall here. This must be the work of the Decepticons. Are they trying to prevent us from moving on? That's right! This is as far as you go, Autobot! So, you've shown yourself. Get ready to fight. The battle begins. The invisible wall seems to have disappeared. Looks like we can't get rid of that wall unless we take care of all of them. All right, let's move on.
come up with this. But I won't let you get in Megatron's way. Soundwave, get out of the way. Give it up, Soundwave. Uh, this may be it for now. I must rejoin Megatron. He ran away? But there's no time to waste. Back to the shuttle. What's that? Is it some kind of bomb? Commander, it might be a tactical proximity mine. When something gets too close to it, it triggers automatically and boom! More of the Decepticon's handiwork. We could trigger it by shooting it from a safe distance. Or should we avoid destroying it? Perhaps it would be better to transform and just hurry by. The Decepticons aren't so stupid. Do you think it would be that easy? When the time comes, we just have to rise to the occasion. Right, Wheeljack? Right. Let's get moving.
really want to stop us. I almost feel like hurrying is slowing us down. The Decepticons must be waiting for us. Hurry up, but don't let your guard down.
Here I am, Megatron. You managed to make it, Optimus Prime. What's wrong with you? I thought you'd destroy the shuttle and steal the Energon cubes before I got here. Dessert will be served after I take care of the main course, Optimus Prime. I'm ready. Bring it on. Answer me, Megatron! An unidentified flying object landed on this planet. I dispatched two Autobots to investigate. We lost all contact several days ago. Were you responsible? What are you up to? That's my line, Optimus Prime! I'm in the middle of an investigation, too! What? Remember this! Next time we meet, I'll Scrap your red hide! Farewell! What's happening on this planet? No time to think about it. The shuttle is destroyed! But let's go inside! tried attacking the shadow in a place like this. That was close, wasn't it, Commander? Hmm. I didn't expect to find them on this planet as well. Wheeljack, have you managed to establish contact with the main planet of this system? They should have some information about the unidentified flying object and our missing Autobots. Commander, I've made contact with the Perdius United Gov. They say the Decepticons are attacking every one of their power plants. Looks like the Big Shots have their hands full for the moment. I see. That's terrible. Our shuttle's been damaged thanks to the Decepticons. We may not be able to take off for a while. How about contacting Adams and asking him to bring the supplies? That may be impossible. Impossible? What do you mean, Wheeljack? Commander, I thought something was up, so I did a little investigating. I discovered harmful electromagnetic waves, which only affect transformers emanating from the sun here. What? We're in trouble. Tell me more. It may be harmful, but it won't kill us. But it increases our system's consumption of energon. The atmosphere is blocking most of the electric magnetic waves, so only a tiny fraction are reaching the surface. 
But once we reach space, we'll rapidly begin to consume our energy. Escaping from, or even simply approaching this planet, carries the risk of draining your energy and becoming stranded in space. And that's not all. Flying at high altitudes is dangerous too. We'd better avoid it. That means we don't have any other choice but to fix our own ship. Sounds like we're facing an uphill battle. Cheer up, Prime. We're with you. Hmm, I guess you're right. We'll continue the fight against the Decepticons with every bolt, every drop of oil. As long as we have our belief in justice, we will fight. The high official of the government is an understanding person. He offered to supply us with energy and any necessary equipment to repair our shuttle on this planet. What do you think? Of course, he set conditions. We have to get rid of the Decepticons first. Tell him that on behalf of the Autobots, I express gratitude for your favor. All right, let's finish refueling ourselves and put a stop to the Decepticons' plans. If our men are still alive, they must be heading for them as well. Prepare yourselves, everyone. So the Decepticons weren't behind the unidentified flying object. If that's the case, what's going on? Thank <laughs> you.